I'm Tyler Finn. I'm from Seattle, Washington in the United States, and I'm a flight test engineer here on the 787. Water barrels are to control the center of gravity of the plane while we're testing. We, uh, we can shift water from the forward part of the plane to the aft part of the plane and, and fine-tune our center of gravity when we're, uh, when we're out there flight testing. The envelope that we're testing is is right on the edge, typically we're, we're testing the very corners of the envelope, so we, we need to fine tune our center of gravity just to make sure we're, we're on the edge, and then we go and demonstrate that for the FAA to certify the airplane. You can see right there on your yeah. main display. Yeah, right. Which is uh, quite nice, because instead of looking to the side when you're taxiing, you just look straight down yeah. and have it pulled up. Huh, okay, right, right. Ah. So that's, um, that's linked to the FAA, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not. Actually, they're, they are two separate systems. Right. So all of the, um, when you're doing an RFP approach or something like that. that the, okay, right. the approach plates will still be over here, Yeah. but all the FMC data is included in there to do the RFP approaches. Yeah, uh, you'll be watching on that one. Exactly, yeah. to make sure you stay within the required performance bonuses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. And if we end up going, if you look... Uh, uh, so my name is Vince Echelkamp, uh, I'm a conduction test pilot for the Boeing Company. And it monitors so the, um, some of the systems I was talking about that typically take bleed air on this uh, 777 yeah. uh, would be your air conditioning right. and the packs. Those are all bleed air, so it's siphoning off energy off the engine right. to drive the air conditioning. Uh, also, wing anti-ice uh, is air-driven, bleed air-driven, mm. uh, and all those features are electric. Right. on the 787. Yeah. So more power stays with the engine to actually produce thrust. Right, right. right. Uh, and then the electric brakes on this airplane, uh, which is a little bit different. Yeah. And then uh, electric uh, starting the engines uses electric starter generators as opposed to bleed air right. to start yeah. the engine. Which will help you see fuel burn a little bit too, I guess. Yeah. Oh, they're big generators too. Yeah. I mean, that's the one thing because it's such a electric airplane. Uh, yeah. It, our buses, the four main buses we have, are 235 right. kilowatts, right. which I think we figured out was 1.4 million watts yeah. of energy is what's put out by this airplane. Does that reduce the reliance on the APU a little? No, the APU is actually still. Um, so it has two generators also, yeah. and each generator on the APU is the same as on the engines. Yeah. So. Uh, any one generator can power the engine. So if yeah. we did have a failure of any sort, we would rely on the APU. But the APU also starts the engine, right. has enough power to start each yeah. engine. Because yeah. again, we said they're electric start generators. Right. So it's not the bleeder that starts it, yeah. it's the electrics from the APU that was typically started. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah.